here with one of the great minds in our industry. This is Chris Snyder from Open BMS down under in Australia. Chris and I are just having a little breakfast here in Paris. Uh, the EJO conference just ended. Chris, what, were, what, were, what was your take? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, pretty good to see the the FG Plus uh, come out and actually see what was what, what's going to be released and when it's going to be released. So it should be good to see the FG uh, 20 plus out uh, out of the end of the year. Yeah, some so, good stuff. Some great minds here. And uh, yeah. hey, I don't want to talk too much about everybody. So I want to talk some more about you. So Chris. For our listeners who might not know, give us a little bit of background on what, what you guys do. So uh, I actually run uh, OpenBMCS. We've been around for about five years now, creating some product for specifically for the Sedona market. So um, <clears throat> our, our history in Sedona is pretty much we've, we've been using the EasyIO product since they since before they put Sedona into it. Uh, we've got uh, installations of probably around about 5,000 uh, Sedona controllers around uh, around the Queensland area now. Well, yeah. Let's let's put this in perspective because you're developing the software, but at the same time you actually use it, right? So you're you're a systems integrator as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our business has been around for 20 years, um, and in the last in the last probably uh, 12 years, we've been using the, the Trinity products moving forward. Um, one of the things that we we saw was the um, was a uh, removal of the Sedona product from their from their market so we, we went oh well we might might see what we can do to to continue using it uh, into the future and we came up with the product of OpenBMCS which basically means that now we can do all of our engineering on site without having to worry about you know, kit management and uh, and worrying about whether Tritium is going to have that, that ability to do it in, in Workbench in the future. So for all our listeners out there worldwide that uh, have some donor products and, and are a little concerned about being able to continue to support those, you guys have the software that will do it, right? Yeah, so one of the one of the ways that we've actually cre we've created a HTML5 interface to actually be able to program, both program the Sedona controllers and also um, create a graphics front end engineer. So you've got, you'll have engineering, graphics, histories, and alarms all in the one system. So, and all, all without having any kind of plugins, which is really. What's well, fantastic. And, and what about the licensing fees? Uh, great licensing fees. <laughs> Buy it once, that's it. That's so, it. Uh, and, it's, and it's at a very, very good price. I mean, um, this price for, for our products is. $300 for, for the physical device and then $200 if you just want yeah. a couple of Sedona controllers. So five, five Sedona controllers will cost you $500 US and you've got a complete package. So And you can use it with uh, Niagara 4 too, right? Um, it, into the future, so we're hoping by the end of this year we'll be releasing a, a new interface into Niagara. So you'll be able to uh, yeah pick up all your points from uh, from your JSES and from your server as well. So. Um, especially with the the release of our uh, tenant billing, it means that you've got a, a full-blown tenant billing system that already built in. Yeah, so okay. it, it just makes it a lot easier for the guys to uh, implement that for their for their customers. Very, very, very cool stuff, Chris. Well, listen, uh, you know we're in Paris. We've, we've seen a lot of great things the last couple of days. Uh, Kenny and I are thinking we might be seeing a renaissance by uh, building automation and smart building controls. Uh, I mean, you've been around the industry for a while, and your dad was before you. What do you think? You, you think we're at the tip of something really big? I think we are. I think, I, I think um, looking into the future, I think independent uh, companies creating products is, is going to be the way of the future. I mean, looking back you know, on my father's day, um, you needed to be a very big company to be able to produce equipment. Right. Uh, now with the technology, the way that it's going, I think we're going to see a lot of innovation and a lot of very quick movements. Um, just simply because of the IT infrastructure that we can now bring into our, into our products. Right, right, right. That's really, really cool stuff. So, uh, what, 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 what blew you away at the conference? Anything in particular that really surprised you? Or? The the innovation stuff. Yeah. I, I really like it. I wish we could use it uh, in Australia. It, if you're not using it and you have the ability to use it in your um, in your region, yeah, yeah, you, you need to get on it. Um, hopefully, in the next. Uh, in the next couple of months, we should be able to uh, to actually pick that up in, in Australia, and they'll they'll release one of those frequency cool. sources. Cool. Well, that's cool. So um, we use a lot of the Sedona product, and, and basically, OpenBMCS came out of a, a need to be able to have a plan B for Sedona. Yeah. Um, we had rumble, rumblings a few years ago that um, it wasn't really going to be the the future for for Tritium. So 
we've uh, we've created a product that, that's based very much around both programming and uh, and uh, creating graphics for for the Sedona product. Well, and I know in Control Trends, if you go to Control Trends, you can see some of Chris's demos. He's been on the show before. But you've really upgraded the software package. I mean, every time we see you, you've done something new with it, right? Yeah. So we spent a, we spent an awful lot of time um, re-looking at the uh, user interface, making it very very simple for people to use. Um, you know, basically, the, the kit management side of things now is is so simple that someone that doesn't even know what kit management is can use the system. It's really really pushed that that forward. So well, it's really cool. Very streamlined. Very elegant. Uh, very intuitive. Not only is it a programming tool, but you guys can do other stuff with it as well. Yeah, so we've got the uh, we've got a history module, alarm module, and, and obviously our, our graphics module to uh, to make it really easy for people to um, to create a full blown BMS system. Uh, but on top of that, we've just released our new tenor billing software, which is really starting to take take to the market as well. Very very cool. How many uh, how many Sedona applications do you have in uh, down under and worldwide? <laughs> So when it comes to uh, Sedona controllers, we've been using them basically since Sedona was released and EasyIO put the first product together. We're actually using that, uh, that EasyIO 30P well before that with backhead and modbus, yeah. but um, we've got well over 5,000 of those controllers uh, installed now, so really got a, a good grasp on what we can and can't do with Sedona product. Well, I think what makes it really uh, interesting when you say you're using, that's not just that you sold it, you've actually used it and installed it, working yeah. with it as a systems integrator. So for our systems integrators, this is a guy who drinks his own Kool-Aid, so to speak, right? Yeah. And eats his own dog food. And, and we really have, have pushed the, the boundaries of what a Sedona controller can do. We, we put them into a lot of research laboratories, pressure control, we do a lot of uh, hospital control all around, all around the state. So um, yeah, we really get uh, get to see all the all the things that you need to be able to to solve with the Sedona controller. So very very cool. All right, uh, Chris, how do our listeners get more information about your product? If you want to uh, jump on OpenBMCS, we've got our emails and phone numbers on there. Um, it's OpenBMCS.com. You can also access a, a free demo, but if you want to get in contact with me, I can uh, I can run you through the product as well to make it uh, nice and easy and clear. Yeah, and Chris travels all around the world. He's a globe trotter. Uh, his motto is have software, we'll travel. So uh, check Chris out. Chris, thank you, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you very much. Awesome. Ooh, la, la. Chris, you have a very special announcement that we're really happy about. Yeah, as of today, we're going to be sponsoring the uh, 2015 Control Trends Awards. Very excited to be part of the team. Awesome, awesome. I'm Chris Kitten, I'm actually pretty good. Chris will be in Orlando at the awards. You might recognize him. He was a young gun last year at the Control Trends Awards. So, Chris, man, you're on the move. Thanks, Chris, so much. You'll see Chris and us in Orlando. Be there, be square. <laughs>